At a time when Apache men and women followed gender roles, Lozen defied convention to become one of the finest warriors in the tribe's history. Born near Ojo Caliente around 1840, Lozen was a member of the Warm Springs Apache led by her warrior father. As a child, she learned how to ride a horse, becoming one of the finest riders in her band. Then began the intense physical training that all Apache girls were expected to undertake, such as waking at dawn and running up a mountain, as well as traditional domestic tasks that would prepare them for motherhood. But during her coming of age ceremony, when she was 12, Lozen received a spiritual calling to become a warrior. Soon, she was one of the finest trackers in her tribe and was believed to have supernatural powers to locate enemies. However, in the 1870s, her life was turned upside down when the Apache were forcibly removed from their ancestral lands to a reservation far away. En route, many suffered from hunger and disease. But during the journey, Lozen stood out for her bravery and empathy. One day, she helped a group of women and children cross a river to escape from American soldiers. Then, she risked her life to save a pregnant woman, stealing horses to evade their captor, and even helping to deliver and care for the baby. When she rejoined her tribe, she was devastated to learn they had been attacked, this time by Mexican soldiers. Many had been killed, including her brother, the tribal leader. So she traveled to the San Carlos Reservation to join forces with other Apache bands and defend themselves against attack. Lozen and another female warrior, Tadatsi, tried to initiate peace negotiations. But when the Apache surrendered in 1886, Lozen was taken prisoner. She died of tuberculosis at Mount Vernon Barracks in Alabama in 1889. Why is it important to tell the stories of women who defied gender norms 